Hi, everyone. I'm very excited to be here today. It's so nice to see a room full of people who are here to take the world of dentistry into the next level through transformation. I'm just trying to get my slides on the screen, if someone can help me. All right. So we're here today to really talk about if dentists love transformational change. And I'm not going to answer this question just yet, but we will address this as we go through the presentation. But before I go any further, I wanted to share a personal story of mine with all of you as dentists, because I thought you'd find it really interesting. I had a milk tooth up until the age of 33. Now, before some of your minds start wondering, well, how old is this lady anyways? I promise this story only happened a few years ago. So that um, tooth of mine gave me such a youthful look. Up until one day, my permanent tooth decided to rip my gums and start creeping up at the back of the roof of my mouth. I started panicking. It was at that point in my career where I was working for Expo 2020, the World Fair. And my role was to sign on international countries to be part of the World Expo and to convince governments and negotiate for them to be part of that event. People tend to already assume that I look younger than I really am, and having metal in my mouth and looking like a fresh graduate wasn't part of my plans. So I went and rushed to the dentist, and I was adamant to just get that permanent tooth removed. And you all heard me right, I wanted that permanent tooth gone. Luckily for me, my dentist talked to me about the option of aligners. She was like, we can manage this. We will keep that baby tooth there. We will pull the permanent tooth down with um, some elastic bands and buttons. Here's the vampire canine that ruined my plans. And we will keep the baby tooth there. No one will see it until it's at the right level where we can then push it forward. So aligners saved my confidence at a pivotal time in my career. And for that, I love dentists ever so much. But that's not the only reason I love dentists. I'm also a believer in holistic health. It dazzles me that every tooth in the human body is tied to a, a specific organ and that oral health affects overall health, as Amir just also shared earlier. So I'm also excited uh, when it comes to dentistry because you guys really are the gatekeepers of health as well. Now, I started talking to a few dentists before I come here on stage today because I've done talks to various industries, but this is the first time I talked to dentists. And I was also really happy to hear that when it comes to the dental industry, you guys are the second when it comes to hiring women. You've done great work, yes, a round of applause at achieving gender equality as an industry. And that's something you should all be really proud of. That's something that other industries still struggle with. And that was not only accurate for the US, it was actually accurate for various countries in Europe and in the UK as well, as you can see right here. So I love dentists for all these reasons that I shared with you. So the first takeaway that I want you to remember from this talk is that you guys are incredible and you impact lives every day. So another round of applause for all of you. Now, some of you might be thinking, this is a summit about dentistry, so who is this lady and why is she here? So I am not from your healthcare industry, but I am an expert in innovation and transformational change. I've been in this, in, in this domain for almost 17 years, helping various industries like oil and gas, smart construction, mega events, and real estate. And so I'm here today to really share with you what does innovation and transformation really mean how it can really help your industry, and how can we take all of that forward. So clearly I'm a big fan of aligners after what it's done for me, and I wanted to ask the audience right here, who knows when aligners were actually invented? So aligners actually came up as a concept all the way back in 1945, but it actually didn't hit the markets until 1999. Now, coming from the innovation world, I can definitely tell you that it does take quite a few years from any, for any innovative solution to go from concept to market, but 54 years is a really long time. So when I found that out, as a curious person in the field of innovation, I thought, is this only the case for Invisalign or aligners, or is this the case with other things in dentistry? And after reading quite a few articles like this one, I actually did find out that the dental industry is quite slow at adopting new technologies. 
So we really need to take a step back and say, why is it taking so long for the dental world to embrace change and innovation? 